Welcome back to our exciting series of videos devoted to the Acronis Files Cloud. This series consists of several complimentary videos designed especially for novice users who do not have any experience with the Acronis Files Cloud. In this video, we'll have a look at the installation, configuration, and basic functionality of the desktop client. So let's get started. The desktop client is an easy to use application that allows you to automatically synchronize, share, and manage all your files and folders stored in the Acronis Files Cloud directly from your local computer. In order to download the desktop client, log into the Acronis Files Cloud and navigate to your user profile. In the pop-up menu, select Download Acronis Files Cloud Client. In the list of available clients, click on the Desktop Sync for Windows and save the installer on your local computer. Alternatively, if you log in from a Mac, you will see the Desktop Sync Client for Mac. Please take note of the server URL, as you'll need it later at the configuration stage. The installation process is very simple and doesn't require any special guidance. As soon as the installation process is over, you will see the Acronis Files Cloud icon appearing in your Windows system tray. Click on the icon and select Preferences. Specify a folder on your local computer that will be synchronized with the Acronis Files Cloud. Make sure that this folder is located on a disk with sufficient free storage space and you have a permission to make changes to this folder. Specify the URL of the Acronis Files Cloud server, your username, and password. Alternatively, if your version of the Acronis Files Cloud is fully integrated with Microsoft Active Directory, you can provide the login and password for your local computer to connect to the Acronis Files Cloud. Please check with your company's IT support if this option is available to you. In the Preferences window, you can allow the client to automatically launch a Windows startup. Press Apply and OK buttons to save the changes. In order to quickly navigate to the local folder synchronized with the Acronis Files Cloud, click on the System Tray icon and select Show Files Cloud Folder. In turn, in order to quickly navigate to the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud, click on the System Tray icon and select the Launch in Web-Based UI. If you make some changes to the local Acronis Files Cloud folder, for instance, add a new file or folder, the corresponding data will be updated on the server side during the next synchronization session. The synchronization between the Acronis Files Cloud and the desktop client takes place immediately once the content of the local Acronis Files Cloud folder or the Acronis Files Cloud is updated. The synchronization speeds depend on a number of factors such as internet connection bandwidth, server load, number of files being changed, and their size. You can trace the synchronization progress in the pop-up window appearing next to the system tray icon. Alternatively, you can pause the synchronization process by clicking on the system tray icon and selecting pause. Let's have a look at the basic functionality of the desktop client. It should be noted that the local Acronis Files Cloud folder is a standard Windows folder. Therefore, all the folder and file level operations performed within the desktop client are just standard Windows operations. For example, in order to create a new folder, navigate to the local Acronis Files uh, Cloud folder, press the New button in the Folder Explorer ribbon, and specify a name of the new folder. In order to upload a file to the Acronis Files Cloud, just copy and paste it to the corresponding subfolder located within the local Acronis Files Cloud folder. 
In order to delete a file or folder, navigate to the local Cronus Files Cloud folder, right-click on the name of the corresponding entity, and select Delete. Please note that this operation is reversible. If you deleted a file or folder in the desktop client, you can restore them easily in the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud, even if you chance to empty the recycle bin on your local computer. It should be noted that some ad hoc file types created on your local computer and uploaded to the local Acronis Files Cloud folder may not be previewed by other users in the web-based version of the Acronis Files Cloud. For example, most Adobe Creative Cloud files cannot be previewed or edited using the file editor embedded within the Acronis Files Cloud. If that's the case, please use suitable applications installed on your local computer to view and edit those files. Well, that's it with the desktop client. See you in the next video.